Hi, in this video, we're going to show you how to create and have your customers use coupon codes and promo codes. So if you're using a legacy button, it'll look like this and pop up on your screen. If you're using Stripe's new checkout, when your customers click the button, they'll be redirected to Stripe checkout.stripe.com for payment like this. So um, let's see, if you are using legacy that pops up and you wanna add a coupon code, you would just go into your Stripe account, here's my test account, and you go to products and then coupons and then new coupon. And the way our system works, you wanna make the name and the ID the same because the ID, even though Stripe says it's optional for our system, the ID is actually the coupon code they enter. So what I'm gonna do is make them both the same. I'm gonna call this foobar1 and foobar, the name and the ID are gonna be the same. It's actually the ID they use, just make them exactly the same and that'll avoid confusion and I'm gonna make this 50% off. And I'm gonna go down to the bottom and click Create Coupon. So now we have a coupon called FUBAR1. And here is the coupon. You can see the ID, which is the thing that matters, is FUBAR1. And the name for your reference is the same FUBAR1. And it's 50% off forever. So now, when I go and I refresh the screen and I click Add Coupon Code, uh, before I do that, I'll just click Subscribe and you can see it's a $600 a month plan. And so I'm gonna enter FUBAR1 and click apply, and then the discount is applied, it's $300. So that works fine for legacy buttons, but if you clicked the, if you're using new checkout, which is what you click on and then it'll redirect customers here. If you tried to add that coupon code, you can see it says add promotion code and Stripe thinks of promotion codes and coupon codes differently. So if I entered FUBAR1, and applied it, it'll say the code is expired, or I guess it's not valid. So what you wanna do there is after you make the coupon, just like I said with ID and name being the same, then you need to add a promotion code. So if you're using new checkout, Stripe wants you to upgrade. You can try out promotion codes in test mode, but for full access, you need to pay, be a paid billing user. So you do have to upgrade with Stripe to their billing feature and once you have that you can add a promo code or you can use it in test mode without doing that so i'm going to click add a promotion code and what i'm going to do to keep everything clear and simple is i'm just going to make that fubar one as well but you can make it different um, and what's cool about promotion codes is you have all these very specific options you can add like limiting to specific customers or number of times expiration date etc so i'm going to click add promotion code so now it's kind of like a coupon code. A coupon has a promotion code. It's like a parent and child. So now there's this promotion code here. So now when I go back to that page and I enter FUBAR1, that is now a valid promotion code. And you can see the discount is applied, 50% off, and I went from a $29 a month plan to $14.50. So that is how you make coupon codes and promotion codes and use them in legacy checkout, which is the one that pops up like that, or also in new checkout.